One, Laura Ingram, 54, a Republican, is a Connecticut native. She earned a bachelor's degree from Dartmouth College and a Juris Doctor at the University of Virginia School of Law. Ingram is a breast cancer survivor, which reports have claimed led to the demise of her engagement to Chicago businessman James V. Reyes in May 2005. Ingram's also been romantically linked to liberal broadcaster Keith Olbermann, former New Jersey Democratic Senator Robert Uricelli and political commentator Dinesh D'Souza. 2. She is a TV and radio talk show host, an author and a political commentator. Ingram hosts the nationally syndicated radio show, The Laura Ingram Show. She is also the editor-in-chief of LifeZet, a cultural and political web destination for conservatives and independents, according to her official website. Ingram is a longtime Fox News contributor. Her show, The Ingram Angle premiered on October 30, 2017. She is the author of several New York Times bestsellers including The Obama Diaries, Power to the People, Shut Up. 3. She has three children. Ingram adopted a little girl, Maria Caroline, from Guatemala in 2008. In July 2009 she adopted a 13-month-old boy, Michael Dimitri. Then, two years later in June 2011, she announced that she adopted another 13-month-old boy, Nikolai Peter, both from Russia. Here's why Ingram's under fire, she mocked Parkland shooting survivor, David Hogg for not getting into several colleges, David Hogg rejected by four colleges to which he applied and whines about it, she said. Dinged by UCLA with a 4.1 GPA, totally predictable given acceptance rates. Ingram tweeted on Wednesday, March 28 in response to a story about Hogg's rejection from four different colleges. Major backlash followed, with author Stephen King even tweeting that Ingram needs a few classes in compassion. When Hogg discovered Ingram's tweet, he called on his Twitter followers to contact advertisers for Ingram's primetime show on Fox, which included a list of 12 companies, including Ed. As a result of Hogg's viral tweet, Nutrish, the Rachel Ray partner dog food brand, TripAdvisor and Wayfair pulled the plug on their advertisements on Ingram's show. 5. Ingram has since issued an apology, she took to Twitter on March 29, tweeting, Any student should be proud of a 4.2 GPA, INCL. At David Hogg 111. On reflection, in the spirit of Holy Week, I apologize for any upset or hurt my tweet caused him or any of the brave victims of Parkland. For the record, I believe my show was the first to feature David, one half. In a second tweet she added, immediately after that horrific shooting and even noted how poised he was given the tragedy. As always, he's welcome to return to the show anytime for a productive discussion. Watch, along with the link to the interview she conducted with Hogg following the Parkland shooting.